Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we're finally into the match here for the Open Qualifier for the uh, Frankfurt Major here. We're going to be following Empire in their road to victory, or at least that is the plan for today. And we're finally able to get into it. With me is Morality Class. I am at Sander and Scordota. I hope you all will enjoy this cast as we're now finally ready to kick it off. Hello. I have a problem. I can't see the first pick for Team Empire, but I know that's a Night Stalker. But I can't see the second pick for Team Old and Steady. No, Old Stanley. <laughs> uh, they picked up the Ogre Magi. Okay, the Ogre Magi. Right. Yeah, yeah. That explains a lot. All right. <laughs> oh. Well then, reborn people. The bugs are still there. Yeah, it's it's not really helping us uh, at all. I'll go. Anyway. I'll check one thing real fast. My settings. Let's see. Okay, it's good. We all good? We all good? We, yeah. we, all, we all settled down? Yeah, if one of the moderators can tell me on how the sound is and stuff like that. Uh, if I need to change something, tell me. It's been some time since I last had to be the one streaming, so... <laughs> Alan, let's get on this, eh? Yeah, let's do it, let's do it. Um... Let's just go at it. We have, like, a band, not Broodmother. I know that Broodmother's been flavor of the, um... Well, I'm gonna say weak because ESL won New York. It was only, like, a... A week ago. <laughs> yeah, what's this but, weekend? <laughs> yeah, so it's like, um, but Brutbather was one of the top picks there. It was probably even the top pick there. So I'm guessing that ban is just because you know what picks up Brutbather the first phase. Anyway. Yeah. And also, bad Bane is just not good versus a Brutmother in the beginning. It, it can't stop true, him. That's true. Because, you know, the Bane relies, is a lane control hero, and Brutmother can just stay invisible and not care about Bane. Of course, you buy sentries, but then Broodmother counters sentries, and what can you do then? Then you're stuck buying more and more sentries, and once Broodmother already has some farm, she sets up nets in the in the jungle. You move to the jungle. Oh. That's it. That's why the Bennett. And as well, Doom, that hero has been coming back. I've been talking to a lot of pro players, and they all say, yeah, man, that, that hero is strong now. Yeah, because a lot of casters have been coming back as well. Um, like a Dazzle and the uh, Ogre Magi right now. The Ogre Magi with eight, his 8 base armor. But not only that, it's because he's just people are seeing his versatility again. He's always he didn't really receive too many buffs, I believe. Um, no, not especially. I think it's just because everything around him's being nerfed, everything's around him being buffed, and people are just saying, "Oh, hang on." Yeah, his Scorch Earth was actually buffed. Yeah, if you got yeah, from Doom. Oh, from Doom. I thought you said Ogre Magic. No, no, Scorch Earth has been uh, has been buffed. Yeah. Ogre Magi Making... is versatile as well, but no, Doom, yeah, his Scorched Earth is just so good now. 48 heal, max level, that's insane. Yeah, it's it's just that makes him so viable now in the offlane. Having Nice Circle as well and Doom, it just means that you have those two <laughs> heroes with incredible regen. Like, it's, seeing this, it, uh, you see Nice Circle run more or less as either a support position 4 or as an offlane. Not really mid, because you just have too many ranged, uh, strong ranged heroes that are put there. Uh, yeah, but also like the Night Stalker, he, he, his buff, he's now got two base, like, you know, it's like... Could you consider that being a bit too much, maybe? It's kind of the same as in uh, Nyx Assassin. But the thing with Nyx is that Nyx is, you know, is doesn't, isn't, doesn't have the strongest of lane presence, it's like... Nice talk, good doesn't. Night Stalker doesn't. Night Stalker shit a lane as well, it's just good as a knight. That's the thing though, it's like he's really good. Once it turns light, once he reaches those four minutes, he's incredibly powerful. And Nyx does not have, like, you know, in the best case scenario, you don't want Nyx having level six by level or by, by minute four. Of course, it happens all the time because, you know, pro teams are pro teams, of course. But, uh, like, Night Stalker's versatility just comes from the fact that at four minutes, he can start killing everything on the map now with that base two health regen. That's just so powerful. He regens up all this health in between ganks. It's. Oh. Yeah, well, let's also talk a little bit about uh, Old Stanley's uh, team here. Picking up a Dazzle, Ogre Magi, Tidehunter, and Luna. It's. It's kind of showing already what they want to do. They want to go five men up and just start pushing down towers. Which has its advantages and disadvantages, of course. Yes, Problem also is, against you know, a Doom. Like, everyone is emphasizing that a Doom. You need, if you play against yeah. a Doom, you need to have at least a two-core lineup. You yeah, lose because, if like, you get you a one-core. Because, you know, like, if one core goes down, the other core can easily take over. But right now, they've already picked up a Luna. And Tide is, is not strong enough as another core. They need something yeah. in mid that can do it. 
So probably looking at the Empire banning out a razor. Maybe. And then, so Let's maybe see. they're expecting like that to go mid like as a call. You might look for Shadow Fiend he's still in the pool. Yeah, Shadow Fiend not, makes sense. Mm, but the problem is, is that you're against an Ice Hawker and Bane. It's hard to rotate in. Nah, as XC team, I do. Yeah, there you go. Like if you leave that hero in the pool, a professional team will pick it up fifth pick. At least now you know the lanes. It's gonna be Bane, Rubik, support, supporting the Doom. Or actually, they oh. might just do dual lanes here. That's that's something that they usually tend to do with Doom. So Doom in the off lane together with maybe the Rubik or the Bane and the Night Stalker with either the Bane or Rubik in the safe lane. Any brew, any Do dual lane for Team Empire will be brutal. But the TA pick is a, is a good one. This is yeah. the Shadow Fiend as well. Uh, it, 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 it harasses the Shadow Fiend well and he can definitely, you know, dodge the raises just with the refraction. Doesn't even need to dodge, he can just eat the raises with refraction. Yeah. Probably this, it doesn't work so well against Doom. Like the, he has yeah, the, if you have Doom on you, you're fucked anyway, but that's it. Uh, no, 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 with the DOT, I mean, like, you know, your DO, the, the DOT just will just Oh, from Scorched. Over. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's the only bad thing, like, that's not even the thing you want to dodge. Apart from that, yeah, it's all pretty singular damage. But well, maybe again, apart from Requiem of Souls, I think that's counted as instances. Sure, but I mean, it requires him getting a Requiem off, which will probably happen, but we'll see, we'll see. Indeed, as we're finally into the game here. Game one is for Empire's final in his way. As I just noticed, my thing is still on directed camera. Okay, now we're back to free. Here we go, smooth as a baby's butt. <laughs> okay, well, uh, I'll take Empire because I do that. <laughs> we're for Empire here on the radiant side. We have Yoki playing the Shadow Fiend. We have Resolution playing the Night Stalker. That leaves Bane to be played by No Fear. And on the bottom lane, we right now have Walking Silent on the Doom and a lower dance on his Rubik. Alright, and for Team Dyer on Team Old Stanley, we have my mom. <laughs> <laughs> is it? Is it? I think that's the... Oh, that's actually the captain's name. Uh, or the team, I don't know. Well then, okay. great name there, playing Tidehunter. I bet he's just trolling the casters here. Gagan playing the Temple Assassin, Baby Rage playing Luna. I'm not even going to pronounce that name, praying Ogre Magi and Markle playing Dazzle. Yeah, what are we going to call the Ogre Magi? Ogre Magi? Yeah, fine. <laughs> <laughs> Same thing you always do when you can't pronounce a name. You just, you know, got on whatever they are there. Like, my mom is is finally playing Dota. She is finally Great. the Hobo I always wanted. <laughs> always wanted her to. Alright, so, looks like mm, quasi-gentleman's agreement. There might be some attempt from Empire to lift, but... Yeah, Will not happen. Oh, it might actually. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh man, you oh. notice you play against a Rubik. Oh my god. And when he's advancing that hard, <laughs> you need to just know. You need to just know. You know, like. Oh my god! Look at the chat as well here. Dota TV straight up. Oh my god. Oh. <sighs> Hello, dance. Come oh on. Oh my god. Uh, if, uh, you could probably just type out our stream in there a couple of times during the game. I'll put it off for now. The thing, so yeah. I don't see it. Well, rip my mom. Yes. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, you could just type in the, the stream there as well, then we might get some more viewers and people to enjoy our cast. And let's have a look at this top lane. It yeah, looks like Baby, Baby Rage. Rage is on his own. Yeah, that was really aggressive. They have a brain set to kill him off, and they want to use it for that. They will maybe dive a little bit with it. Uh, there you go. One more click, they what get was, it off. What was Mark doing? He leveled Poison Touch. Yeah, maybe he's able to turn it around with it, but he should have already cast it beforehand if he wanted to have the uh, Ogre Magic walk in here. But the thing is, he leveled it. He leveled it after Baby Rage. Like, after Baby Rage died, he leveled Poison Touch, which means that he could have leveled Shadow Grave and saved, the ba and saved Baby Rage. Yeah, Shadow, either Shadow Grave or, of course, Shadow Wave. Either, all of those would have worked. Yeah, definitely. Just, so or force them into a better, in a worse situation because... Oh, there we go. Finally TP out from my mom. So, a very weird play there, but okay. It seems like they're going to try and aggressively just make force the uh, Night Stalker out of the lane. Indeed. And as we see here on Silent, the Shadow Fiend is going to kill. Yeah. You're playing just... against a 6 7k Shadow Fiend here. That's, I don't know what this guy is, who he is. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's not going to be good for him. Yeah, no. I mean, TA usually wins against Shadow Fiend, but that's. No is... stats either. Yeah, so that requires you to just, you know, be be on equal uh, equal footing here in terms of skill, and they definitely aren't. Uh, the player has at least 3.8k hours in Dota, so he should have some experience. As, whoa, 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 the career! Woo! 
Yeah, that and was a mistake there, Yoki. Again. But is he able to punish that Gagan was so aggressively forward? He needs to race. Can he get it off? He's and oh, oh, oh he should have done it faster. There was a time when he could have done it, as they're actually able to pick up the Dazzle here on top. Uh, well, Gagan is now forced out of the lane again. Yeah, he needs. He wants to get a room, but they're already all picked up. At least my mom so should be, be fairly okay. He's only level one though. That's three minutes in and only level one. Yeah, Doom is already level. Yeah, this, this is troublesome here as well. That's on top, baby rage. Gets killed again. Killing spree already in t three minutes in for the Bane. This is this is just brutal domination from the Empire. They're just proving this is. <laughs> they're just proving their professional status right now. Yeah. And it's unfortunate for this team, really. I mean, well, somewhere down line, you're gonna meet a strong team if you can yeah, win. Course. Oh, they eat a mango. They want to do something here, otherwise they wouldn't have eaten it. They're gonna try and walk around. Uh, they're just gonna walk. He ate a mango to. Okay, this is not value at all. Okay, Ogamaja gets off the ignite here. No fear. It's taking a lot of damage, but he has brain sap already, and they just easily turn this one around. There's gonna be the shallow grave though. Resolution will just chase him down as uh, all <laughs> no Sandy's team will look for away. no fear. Oh, Resolution miss needs one void. Okay, he's underneath the tower. There we go. Gets the void and a right click as well. As now no fear. It's just regening up with the solve. By the yes, way, chat. How is the uh, the sound level? Please tell me. Well, the Twitch chat is saying if you're facing up against Empire, prepare to get absolutely wrecked. And yeah. unfortunately. That's why this they, is this is actually correct and there's no other way Marco to that. But... Baby Racer trying to turn this around, but just one simple stick turns it around and they get two kills in return. This is something that you should always keep in mind. Look at what the enemy has. You can actually see the stick count and go from there. You know, just if they have like eight stick charges, get no. You're, you're not Either gonna, burst them straight with... down in the. Yeah. Oh, my mom found out. They just easily run in scorchers. His movement speed into the nice end tower stomp coming out from silent. Easy kill here on bottom as well. I feel like the Empire is just treating this as some kind of training match. If they probably no. they probably feel like they're playing against bots or something. No, they're actually taking it very seriously. I know that. But the the, the picks like are they like that. I've seen professional teams against amateurs before, and then you get like a, a lineup filled with a Ruby, Kazuo, just everything that is all sports. I mean, sport of course, kind of like, from yeah. the picks and from the plays and how they're doing it, they are playing it seriously. But this is probably to them just like a training game, if you understand. Yeah. It's... Because it just feels like they're not. They're just overrunning like, them already. Yeah, it's... Yeah, look at this. 11 minutes. Five minutes. Yeah, 10, 12 kills and 7.5k gold. Uh, look at that oh, as well. It's, it's, it's going crazy here. I'll put it up look here. <laughs> it's... <laughs> yeah, well, yo, man. I, like, I should just keep on watching it stop. Yeah, here. They're diving the Ogre Magia as well. They're gonna kill him as well. Kagan is maybe able to do something. Nope. There you go. Nightmare out. Resolution. Oh, they're just, actually in, just what? gonna... They're just standing here looking at him. They know it's level 4 TA that rotates into a lane. Where they're already level 6 on one of the heroes and the other one's almost level 6 as well. <laughs> oh, oh my god. This is... I'm not even sure. I'm, I don't... I, uh, this is just I'm tough. Speechless. This yeah, is just this so tough for them. There's nothing else to say about it. Like, how are they going to do this? Uh, late game, they're not going to win it. Simply put. This is a team that has so much experience that in late game as well. That they just know what decisions to make. On top of that, it's like movement as well. Yeah. I feel like it's the movement of what are they called? Slendy? Oh, it's old Stanley or whatever. Old, old Stanley. Like I feel like their their movement is just flawed. Like their rotation into the top lane. That TA rotation was not good. You're level forty eight. You should oh, be baby rage. baby rage as well. He knows that the, the second goes forward, everyone from Empire will be on him. Yeah, they just kill them off here. Just, they just easily dive in here. They know it's night time. They can just go. Resolution gets low, but doesn't matter. He has 14 stick charges as well as two earn charges with it. He can just That's regen up again. That's a good point. Uh, Dota TV just said something. 600 GPM of the Shadow Fiend at six minutes. Oh man, 600. This is uh, gonna be tough here. Just look at it. They're just diving between tier one, tier two. Oppa, another kill, dominating streak on Yoki. Markle taking a lot of right click damage here, and there you go. The voice from Resolution to kill him off. Did we miss something else? Yeah, and on bot, another kill as well. Do you, just imagine their force shit right now. Oh, baby rage! He is stuck between two as well. They even use the fiend script here. Maybe a little bit overkill, but it doesn't really matter. <laughs> okay, imagine the force shit now from all Sandy. Guys, guys, we're gonna kill! No, no, no! Come top, come up! No, no, mid, mid as well, everywhere! No! 
They're everywhere, and they're killing us everywhere. Oh, and I just died again. <laughs> this is seven minutes in, and this is already a lead. <laughs> it's 20 zero. <laughs> what the heck? Oh no, poor guys. Oh, this. They have, they have only taken like one tower and they're already so far ahead here. <laughs> nice look gets the kill. They don't even care, they just dive. <laughs> Two towers down now. They're getting they're starting to get a third one on both of us both sides. He's he's skipping creeps, he doesn't care about anything, because it's a level 3 Luna with level 1 Lucid Beam, Luna Blessing level 2, what can he do? What can she do against 1,500 health Night Stalker? Yeah, well, just, look are, at this, just look at him, he's just taking the creeps with him, he doesn't really care. He sees Marco and he's like, okay, thank you, let's go for him, Brain Sap, as well as a nice voice, kills him off. Oh, yeah, yeah. And Gabe yeah, is like, meld maybe, strike on uh, him. She can meld and go Invis, but Baby Race does absolutely no damage now. Oh, they actually killed someone. The mega kill streak is done by no fear. GG out for Empire right now. They, they have to. <laughs> no. Here, they kill. This is getting returned to kill instantly. Yoki is getting low. Requiem is there. Ooh, they stunned up the first time. Can they kill him before it gets off? Yes, they can. That's actually a pretty big kill here as well. Oh, there. This is running around. Finally, they're doing something together. That's it. Is it they, they get like 2k uh, golden experience. But if you look at the graphs, you're looking at it you're like, yeah. Yeah, you're, you're you've, got still. Mountain, you've got a mountain <laughs> to climb, mate. <laughs> even if you win, like, a whole team fight, you, you win, like, three in a row, and even then you're still in the mid-game, <laughs> you're not gonna win it. Like, look Especially at this. Especially since Silent has been farming up all this time, just, you know, <laughs> doing absolutely nothing to contribute, other than get some gold. Yeah, he's... And Rubik's gonna walk over. Lift up, uh. throwback, and Gabe. And he's, Rubik is not level 6 yet, the only one of their team that's actually... Not a, a high level. This is actually... <laughs> this is like something you will never ever see otherwise on a Doom. A 2-2 build. Everything in a, <laughs> in a score cert and uh, Devour. Uh, so yeah, I, I can't look at Doom because they're just gonna kill us. But I wanna talk about oh. Doom right now. Like, Not putting a point in Doom just shows that they don't really care about him. He's just farming yeah. pretty much all the time. He will now finally join his team with the Haste. Because they don't need him. They can, he can just mean, farm <laughs> for late game. No, look, I mean, Yoki on his own is just wrecking everything. It's because there's so many levels higher. Here, yes. look at this. Mel Strike on Bane. He doesn't care. <laughs> here, live back onto my mom. Gets off a nice Ravage here. It does hit for all four of them. But really, are they able to turn this around? They're going to try and go for Silent. But he's too tanky. They already get a mech out here oh, as well. Look there at you the go. Damage. Fade Bolt kills off one. The second one gets killed by Yoki. It's just. They're just going ham. Like, they can just end it right now. 10 minutes in. 26 to 2, they can just go high ground. They have pack leaders out already. They have a mechanism done. They're gonna have a Vladimir's offering flying out soon. They have not just one, but two drums. Two drums oh, because, okay, this is a little bit bad communication here on the Ogre Magi, but they still get the kill. And this this solar eclipse is absolutely nothing. It's like tickling Dude. them. They're pushing through tier threes at 10 minutes. But they can jump in it. Here, there you go, another kill as well. There comes a fiend script of my mom. What can they do it about it to cancel it? Well, not really a whole lot. As then get up the shallow grave really nicely on my mom. But they just go for the others as he just dies to the nightmare on top of him. Gavin goes in fist, but the scorch earth here. They even put down a sentry as well. They are just diving underneath their base here. Oh, hey, for kill. Finally took a level of doom. Oh yeah, come on, oh, get it. Rampage, rampage, rampage! There we go, rampage and all our dents! <laughs> wow. The support, Rubik getting a rampage, that's not something you see every day. And in fact, just a random break we have to celebrate the occasion. Why not? Why not? <laughs> 11 minutes in, they're taking the G wrecks here. G they're, not, they're not willing to call it, guys. It is their Frankfurt Major on the line here. If you lose, you're out. But what did they call it? Yeah, oh, they I, did. Oh, what the fuck? I can't read. Oh, no. oh <laughs> I had the wrong chat on. <laughs> hey, you know, they called GG. I'm sorry about it, guys. I was on the wrong chat. Well, ladies oh, and gentlemen, wow. that was Empire showcasing well, that... why they are a professional team. <laughs> wow. Well, I really I'm feel just... sorry for them. Wow. I'm, I'm not that. I'm sorry, old Stanley. Um, you know what? Do this. Th use this as a learning experience uh, somehow. You, you, you lost against a team. Maybe watch back the replay and see what they did in comparison to you. And use that as a learning experience. Yeah, anyway, that, that's the best thing to do. As uh, I will stop the replay here for now, the replay, the match, and uh, 
We well, will be waiting for the second game then. We'll be going waiting for the second game for now. I will try to add one of them in my list so I can find it faster. Okay. Yeah, so we'll just go into the breaks, Karina, I guess. Oh, 